Today we're going to be learning about floor plans. An architect uses a floor plan to describe the size, shape, location, and functions of different parts of the building. In our case, we're going to start with a very basic kind of floor plan. Because we're all at home, we're going to be able to take our tape measures and go measure our own houses. The kinds of things we're going to show on our floor plan is driveways, garages, trees, where things are located, basic outside walls. For this first exercise, we are only going to do the perimeter of the house, that is, around the outside. If you look at my neighbor's house here, you can see I picked it because it has easy lines, a couple of bumps on the outside, inside corners, and some other features that I have to work around. We're going to start by taking a sketchbook and a pencil, walking around the house and looking very carefully, and trying to draw those outside walls, or the footprint, as architects call it, which is basically just the shape of the building as it sits on the ground. You're going to go outside corners, inside corners. We don't have to do columns, overhangs. We don't have to show windows or anything like that. As you see here, simple black lines, just like that, that show where the house sits. Then I'm going to take my tape measure, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to hook it on a corner and take a measurement. If you have two people and it's easy, you can actually measure an entire section of wall at a time. Because I'm by myself here, I just measure to a window, remember that number, and then I can hook my tape measure from that spot and keep measuring and add the two together to get the overall wall length. You can measure this in inches or in feet. Doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent and you remember what it is you're using. A tape measure generally has inches in the middle or on the bottom, and then it's going to have feet as big black arrows like you see here. Sometimes the red numbers are feet and inches. Right now, I would just suggest you pick one and go with it. As long as you're consistent, that's okay. For interior corners, I like to just hold the tape measure out until it bumps the corner and take that measurement. Once again, you don't have to have two people, but it obviously helps. And here, once again, I measure to the window, and then I add them up as I go. Every time I take a measurement, I open up my book and I write down that dimension. It doesn't matter how you write it down as long as you can read it right now because this is your sketch. When we get back together, you're going to present this sketch to us and show us all those numbers. Notice how I don't forget the small walls in between. Everything has to be included for us to put this in the computer accurately later. As I walk around the house and measure, I'm going to fill out the lines I don't already have. And hopefully, if everything's done correctly, your sketch will be accurate. 